Hello everybody, welcome to the Crypto Realm. So today we're going to talk about some Binance news. So apparently they want to come out in one to two weeks to launch the play to earn. Funny and addictive gameplay. I already want to kill those monsters. Yeah. Mixed reviews though down in the comments, right? Here's a little picture of the gameplay action if you want to see it. Whoa. Zoom in a bit there for you. A little blurry. Pretty standard. No background, really. No clouds, no anything. How far? One to two weeks, they say. Hopefully, right? They got some mixed reviews. When V3.1, as you said, soon from 27. And this one to two weeks, sure, you can change. Sure can change into one to two months. <laughs> so I guess it was supposed to come out a little earlier. And this guy's complaining, well, now one to two weeks, it can change into like a few months. And it can. Be safe, everybody. Do your own research. This is not financial advice. So that person's hyped. They got six monster NFT and six energy. But there's mixed reviews. If you not show gameplay, the trailer, some YouTubers still think it's fake, which is very true. I'm not 100% on board. Please upload a trailer. So some people want evidence, right? Which is rightfully so. People want to see like their money's being uh, invested wisely. <laughs> so yeah, people upload trailer. The price is still low. Yeah, people want a trailer. They want to see actual gameplay in action. So Binance a little iffy right now. They haven't produced much. You can't really battle. I did a battle before. I had a card. I have a card. $9,000 they say it's worth. And it's a 95% chance of winning like most of my battles. So I did a bet. 95% chance to win. And I lost. <laughs> So you got to be careful, right? These people it could be like behind the scenes, rigging the game, taking your money, playing with their own cards, going, oh, they bet a lot. Click of a button. Let's change it for a second. I want to sweep, sweep that in there. You know, you never know. You never know. So hopefully it's real because I can sell this $9,000 card. As soon as I can, it's gone. Um, And there's another one. Oh, hold on. You can get rewards too. They trickle in. Dark energy crystals are only worth like less than a penny, so don't get excited. Can't battle right now. Collection, that's where we just were. But yeah, so here's another one. Lord of the Rings inspired, right? How legit is this? Because can they just go ahead and call themselves this? Because it says inspired. With a storyline inspired by J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings. So you have to question, are they legit? <laughs> you can uh, buy their token right now, LOR. I haven't seen it on uh, CoinGecko, but uh, you can buy it in BUSD. Say you spend 20 bucks, you can get 200 LOR token. And they have like a loot box here. You can get like a free chest. Or you can get the premium chest for like 10 bucks. I got the premium. I went ahead and spent 10 bucks. Probably should have spent 10 bucks on the LOR token instead, but oh well. Um, I'm going to wait on this. I got a sword. If you want to check out the marketplace, I got an ancient sword. I don't think you can do much. Doesn't, I can't hit anything or click anything. We'll go at the roadmap and see if this is actually up and running yet. So. The sword is ancient, and it's this red one here, 300 LRT. So yeah, let's check out the roadmap. Do your own research, people, because this could be such a fraud. <laughs> I, I don't want to put more than $10 into it at this point because they're cute. I think it's later on. They're coming out with like next year stuff. like. Phase 3 is in Q1 of 2022, launching campaign mode, launching battle mode, launching iOS and Android app. And then Phase 4 Q2, introducing pet and armor systems, launching stake system using LOR token, launching a, a parachain on Ethan Dot in Q3. So that's 2022. That's like a year away.
Yeah, so uh, phase one, August 2021, character NFT sale, launching loot box system, starting IDO, and crowdfunding for LOR token. So yeah, it's up to you guys, right? Do your own research. See if this uh, works out for you. By Q4, they're launching the marketplace for character and equipment, introducing monsters in a world map. That's a, that's a big uh, movement there. Q4. It's just around the corner, right? So hopefully they can put this together. Main features, NFT marketplace, floor price, uh, storyline, exciting gameplay. Clans and individual players can complete a mission, improve their heroes' equipment, pets, join guilds or combat with other guilds to get farming resources, protect their clans, fight bosses to earn amazing rewards. Cool. I wonder if they have land. So the LR token is a governance token. Just saw the roadmap. So you got to be very careful, people. Very careful with all this stuff. Another one I'm checking out right now is called uh, Splinterlands. I'm not impressed with their staking. I put 300 in, SPS token in, and I tried to get it out, and they wouldn't let me. They only gave me 75 by the time to take out, and they're holding it until the 7th of August. So it looks like they have a little bit of a hold feature going on. You can't get everything out all at once. But the battle is pretty fun. You get these uh, loot boxes every 15 days, and... Uh, you can do daily quests to get chests, and those chests help you get like uh, potions to help you get cards when these loot boxes are opened every 15 days. You just find the symbol that you're playing the daily quest with. Go to your the first card you get to pick will be uh, the same symbol as you see. It, it says that your daily quest is. So I got a little confused at first because I didn't know the symbols, I didn't know the characters yet. Yeah, just find the, the what it, it'll tell you and it'll show you here. And just go find the first card to pick and just make sure it's that symbol and character stuff and you'll get your daily rewards by winning matches so i've done all right with it i've got 23 dark energy crystal don't get excited it's only like less than a cent so <laughs> it's not that good but every 15 days i already got a card uh things like that already opened up my first box like yesterday got two basic i guess kind of common cards Got some potions. So yeah, that's Splinterlands. The staking seems to be a little sketchy, a little eh. But uh, the battles are fun and the daily quests are pretty fun. And I want to talk about uh, Cardano. Cardano is just coming up. It's around the corner. And it's going to have all this on their system too, on their platform, on their blockchain. And it's pretty decentralized. Their staking mechanism like I just staked on Splinterlands, for example, and they have control of my stake. On Cardano, you have control of your money 24 7. I'm staking on Cardano right now. Doesn't matter. I can move my money anytime I want. No holds, no penalties, no fees. I just, if I'm in, I'm in. If I want to take out 30 bucks from it, I just send it somewhere else. And then just my next return for staking, they just take out that 30 bucks and don't account, don't count it towards my rewards. It's that simple. It's liquid. Cardano is going to be huge. They're coming out in like the next month or two with their smart contracts. And they're about ready to, to do all this. I heard they have like 1,500 projects working on the Cardano blockchain, just waiting for it to come out. That's a lot. <laughs> So, thank you everybody for watching. Check out the cryptorealm.com. We got some games here. We got Axie, The Sandbox, So Rare, League of Kingdoms, Gods Unchained. So, if you're new to the crypto world and you're looking for some games, it'll really help us out our site, or to get our site the clicks and things like that. And we have referral links for all these things here. So, it helps out the channel. Um, you can check out the NFT marketplace as well. That's where everybody goes to get their NFTs. From all the NFT games and all the crap, it's all congested into this one NFT marketplace called OpenSea. If you go through this link, you can go to OpenSea and you can find pretty much any NFT that you're looking for. I suggest Unstoppable Domains as well. That's your business name or your personal name with a dot .crypto on the end and people can send Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, 
anything. They can send whatever they want to that address and it'll just accept it. And that's a good for that's good for business. That's good for you. you just give people that little business name dot crypto. They know it. They send it. Done. No numbers. No craziness. They know your business name dot crypto. That's it. Done. Oh, and it's a one time fee, forty dollars, and it's yours for life. You can do the same with Ethereum, but I think they just accept Ethereum, and uh, it, you have to keep renewing it which sucks. Who would want to do that? It's a decentralized website as well. Your crypto name. Unbelievable, right? So you get a website, one-time fee, multiple addresses could be, like multiple transactions of payment could be sent to that one name. Decentralized website. You can, it's amazing. Unstoppable domains, it's well worth it if you if you want to start getting into the crypto world and using that as a business name. So thank you so much for watching. Everybody have a good one, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.